Welcome to today's fantastic tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create this ride in style photo manipulation in Adobe Photoshop and today's planning is to put this car on this scene and then matching all the lights and colors and let's see what we can do with this all right so this is how or this is what is our main object in today's episode so let's get started first of all let's enhance this background a little bit so what i'll do i'll just press ctrl j or command j on my keyboard to have a duplicate copy of it okay and <clears throat> now I will go to the filter and select camera raw filter or you can simply press shift ctrl a or command option sh command shift a to have the access to this and now first of all let me go for the auto and uh, let me change its temperature towards the all right warmer side and add a little bit red to this maybe something like this and uh, increase the contrast and bring down the highlights open up the shadows and uh, let's add more black and increase the clarity increase the vibrance increase the saturation a little bit okay and then come over here on the details panel increase the amount of sharpening and increase its masking to something like this or if you want to see what kind of a mask it is creating you just press alt or option and you can see the mask okay and increase the luminance so it is going to take away certain noise which is present in case okay and uh, let's add some vignette effect make this a little bit darker and then press ok and now we have applied this some small adjustments and it has transformed this image even further and let me purge it all so this is going to free up some of my memories all right in my on my pc so that it doesn't get slow and now let's work on this car and now we need to extract this car from the background so for this purpose we'll go for the quick selection tool and we will start painting on this and it is going to make a selection for us and let me just quickly do it all right i have created a selection of this car and now I need to press this layer mask icon let me just show you this is the layer mask icon if I'll just press it it is going to create a layer mask and it is going to remove the background for us and now we need to refine it as you can see over here we have some lines so in order to fix this we'll take the brush tool and using the black uh, black color and this uh, the this soft edge brush with zero hardness okay and with 100 percent opacity we are going to paint over on this line and now we have a perfect selection and now we need to remo uh, remove it from here as well all right so for that purpose we'll take the same brush same setting but we will lower down its opacity to something like 16 percent okay and make sure we have to clean only the windows all right so we'll paint a little bit on the windows over here so that it takes away this background from the window okay and you can paint once or twice but make sure it is not totally cleaned let there be some reflection okay so that it looks realistic and we are able to see the background or the mountain 
which is on the back and here as well let's paint in if you want to increase the size you can do as well by pressing left bracket or the right bracket you can quickly adjust its settings okay or you can quickly resize your brush and here you don't need to be perfect all right and now this one has been transformed and let's come to the properties of this and once we'll double click it it is going to open this select and mask option and from this drop down menu we'll select on layers and that way we would be easily able to see what it would look like or how it is going to look like on our main background all right and now i have some last settings which are already available over here and make sure you select the new layer with layer mask okay and just press okay and it is going to create one more layer of it and here i need to remove certain from certain a it from a this area as well so i'll paint with the black color with the lower opacity okay and over here as well and if you feel that you have overdone it or you have somehow painted with the you can then paint with the white color all right so it is going to reveal it for us and now let's right click and select convert to smart object and that way it is going to be converted into a smart object and now we are ready to transform this car and in that case it is going not going to get distorted all right so i'll press ctrl t or command t to have the access to transform tool and let's drop its size something like this and let's place it over here and press enter and zoom in and if you want you can change the position of it as well so i can make it something like this all right and uh, now we need to make it realistic so that it appears that it is actually over here but at the moment you can see we have these tires which are not looking realistic so what we can do we'll create a layer mask over here with the help of this layer mask icon let me show you okay and now we'll again Take the same soft as brush with zero hardness okay and with lower opacity we'll start painting with the black color and what it is going to do it is going to remove it from it is going to remove this hard edge okay and you can do something like this and it would appear that it is actually inside it or inside the water and now it's looking little bit better but not good at the moment so we need to create our shadows of for it so for that purpose what we are going to do will create one new layer under it so we'll create a new layer and again with the soft edge brush with the black color lower opacity around 10 percent okay and we will paint it over here and on the tires as well so that it looks like that this is actually over here and under the car as well and you have to paint number of times in order to get the right amount of shadows and make sure that on these edges you make them little more darker okay 
because if it will not do that it would not look realistic okay because on the edges it's always the darker and it the shadow graduates from this side to the this side okay the more far it will go away it is going to be less sharp okay and less dark and now you can see by turning it on and off and if you want you have overdone it if you feel that you have overdone it you can lower down its opacity but I think there is no need for this and this is looking good and now let's add some lighting on this car so this is car so let me just rename it as car and this one is the shadow all right so we'll create one new layer over here and we'll clip it to this layer by pressing alt and hovering our mouse between these two layers and clicking once and now you can see over here this is a pointed arrow which means that's that this layer is visible only on this layer that is the car okay and now we'll press shift and backspace and we are going to fill it with 50% gray and we'll press ok and change this layer blend mode to overlay and now we are ready to doze and burn this okay this may so for that purpose will come over here on the doze and burn option where it is I think all right you can simply press O on your keyboard to have the access to that otherwise it should have been over here but I don't know why it is not over here right and now I have made it available actually what I did I go to the edit and select toolbar and here if you are using the Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 or later version then you have the capability of uh, customizing your toolbars or what tools you want over here and if somehow you have made some changes and you couldn't find certain one certain tools over here then just need to click on restore default all right and then press turn and now this those and burn is available over here so we'll go for the those tool all right and make sure the exposure is around 50 percent and start painting on the as of this car little bit over here okay and wherever there is a light little bit light is over here little bit highlights are over here so I'm going to paint it over here okay and then we'll go for the burn tool and we'll burn on the this side so wherever there is a dark or area that gets more darker okay and on this side as well and uh, let's doze it once again so i'm going to doze this area or these wheels and you can see the difference by turning it on and off and now we can see that light is coming from this side and before that we need to create one more curves adjustment and let's bring down the highlight and make sure it is clipped to this layer so we can press this and that weight is going to clip to this layer and this layer is clipped to this so that means it is going to affect only the car all right and bring down the shadows so make it little more darker and now we'll press control i or command i and it is going to inverse it it is going to remove this effect and now we'll choose the white color and we'll take the soft as brush okay with 10 percent opacity and we will start painting 
over here on the car okay so that this car gets darker and darker and make sure we don't touch on this highlighted area alright once it is done you can see the difference by turning it on and off and if you want to make the adjustment just click on this this icon and then again you can make the adjustment if you want okay and I think now this is looking good and let's add some lighting or birds over here so let me bring in the birds and and let me drop it over here let me resize it something like this place them over here and press enter and let's change their layer blend mode to overlay or multiply or let's say darken and lower down their opacity even further and press ctrl t and resize them even smaller something like this but i think i don't like these birds so i will bring in another birds so let me choose my another birds where they are i think they should be over here and sometimes it takes a little bit of time to search for it all right i have brought these these different birds and let me delete the earlier one and let me zoom in to show you as you can see it has some problems over here so what i can do i can change its layer blend mode to darken or let's say multiply i think darken is working so we need to remove these spots so for that purpose we need to create a layer mask Take the softest brush with 100% opacity and start painting with the black color. And that is going to take away or remove these spots which aren't looking good. They are looking ugly since there is a problem with the selection. Okay. And let's lower down their opacity so that they doesn't get or doesn't look that sharp okay and let's add a little bit light on this side so we'll create a new layer and change its layer plan mode to let's say linear dose and come over here on the brush panel make sure you have the softest brush with the let's say 100 percent opacity makes its size little larger and come on the swatches if swatches are not available over here as you can see go to the windows and select swatches and drag them over here so that these colors and swatches are available over here and let me come to the swatches and let's uh, choose this orange like color and this would be available over here and let me paint it once okay and it is going to add a little bit light let me paint it once again and now i can press ctrl t and by pressing shift and alt and hovering my mouse on one of the corner i will drag it outside so it is going to spread this light everywhere and press enter okay and if you feel this light is way too much then you can lower down its opacity if you want and let's create one more layer this time we'll change this layer brand mode to soft lies will soft light and we'll take the same brush same color but this time opacity should be 10 percent all right so let me change it to 10 percent and i will paint over here a little bit on this car and on this area okay so that way it is going to give some warmer hue to the entire image all right and now what we can do 
let's add some vignette effect to this so we'll create one new layer blank layer and we'll come over here on the gradient option where is it i think gradient option is again missing so we'll, we'll go to the edit and select toolbar and we'll select the gradient where it is let me find it yes it's over here so we'll add it over here and press done let's see where it is whether it would be available yes now it is available and come over here and make sure you select this black to transparent gradient this is a default one if it is not available then click on this cogwheel and select this uh, neutral density okay and that way it would be available over here if you will select this neutral density select append and that way it is going to give you all these neutral density filters okay or gradient presets and press ok and make sure you select this one which is the linear gradient okay and opacity 100 percent and now click and drag it outside and click and drag it outside and let's lower down its opacity something like this and over here we have some darker area so we'll create a layer mask we'll take the softest brush and with the black color we'll paint a little bit over here so that it gets removed from this side okay and now let's add some details to this manipulation so we'll press ctrl alt shift e to create a merge copy or stamp copy of all these layers or you can simply press or if you are using mac you can press command option shift e okay and let me just remove purge my all the ram or histories and that way i won't be able to undo it but i don't need that but if you are doing that be careful of that because you won't be able to undo anything all right and then i will change its layer blend mode to linear light and come over here on the filter other and select high pass and choose the high pass radius around 1.1 1 .1 or 1.5 otherwise your image would be too sharp on and we'll press ok and you can zoom in to see the result what this has done by turning it on and off and at the moment it has been applied everywhere but i don't want the sharpening to be applied everywhere so i'll press on this button and i'll press ctrl i to create a layer mask which is the black one and with the white color this time choosing brush and white color and flow to be 50 percent opacity i will paint on this car because i want this car to be sharper more sharp okay and little bit on this area and you can see by zooming in the difference okay and let's blur this background little bit so this is our background so what we are going to do we'll right click and select convert to smart object and now will apply a smart filter on this so we'll go to the filter and select blur and choose gaussian blur and we'll choose a radius of this something like 2.4 and we will press ok but uh, we need to create a duplicate copy of it so we'll press ctrl j to create a duplicate copy of it and from this we'll remove it from here and over here because you don't want to blur this area that's why i have created one more copy so i'll create a layer mask and i'm going to remove this blurriness from this side all right so i'll paint with the black color with 50 percent opacity 
I need to paint twice. Okay. So I'm going to paint it this way. And that way what it is going to do, it is going to blur the mountains but not the water which is over here. Okay. And our photo manipulation is now ready. Okay. So I'll press F to go full screen twice and this is the final result which we have got after doing all this hard work or all these creating these layers and effects and if you want you can even uh, do some color grading to this so let me just show you come to the adjustment panel and select photo filter and uh, from this drop down menu select different one try different one maybe this one cooling filter is looking good and uh, red one is also looking good I think uh, red is looking good. I can increase its density or its strength from here. So, but I think I will go for this one. And by turning it on and off, you can see. And come over here on the adjustment and adjustment panel and select this uh, color balance adjustment. And let's play with all these sliders. So let's try to add red and magenta not let's add green or leave it in this here and add some yellow or let's say add some blue blue is looking good and come over here on this shadows from this drop down menu let me just show you okay and so this time we are targeting the shadows and in shadows we'll be adding red and a little bit green and i think we're going to add a little bit of magenta and from the highlights let's add some cyan oh, red is looking good i think you can play with all these settings and you can come up with the result you like or the look you like and I think by turning it on and off I think I like this look as it has little bit more blue okay and this is our final result so let me just show you once again so this is our photo manipulation which we have created in today's episode I hope you have learned something useful from this tutorial and if you like this episode please don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos and subscribing is absolutely free all you have to do you just need to click on the big red button below this video and you will be subscribed to this channel and there is no charge for subscribing and so the benefit of subscribing is that you won't miss any new video from me and if you want to follow along and if you want to create uh, these, uh, this kind of a photo manipulation of your own, then you can download the exercise files by going into the links, uh, going to the download link in the description section. I would also request you to join my Facebook group, which is called the Lens of You. And its link is also in the description section below. And if you want to support this channel so that I can keep on creating more and more free content for you you can buy my pro tutorials with huge discount there is a link to that also in the description section below all my pro tutorials offer comes with a 30 days full money back guarantee so in case you don't like them for any reason whatsoever you can get your full 100 percent money refund and with no questions asked guarantee so you have a zero risk trying all my pro tutorials all right so do check them out. So thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you in the next episode.